Safaricom Ethiopia, known for being the first telecom service in Ethiopia that isn't state-owned, has been able to accomplish much since October 2022. They have since gained 11 million subscribers with 847 network towers in 25 cities, 2,800 retailers, 103 centers, and 5,000 scale agents. CEO of Safaricom Ethiopia, Mr. Anwar Sousa, gave a statement saying that Safaricom Ethiopia has prepared the necessary things needed to bring M-Pesa service in Ethiopia. Mr. Anwar also expressed his happiness by saying the preparation for M-Pesa being completed indicates a good future for Safaricom Ethiopia. Mr. Anwar was quoted stating, with a population of about 120 million and the financial access still being at 35%, with mobile services at 54% of the total population, makes the annual remitters income about $4.2 billion. This means Ethiopia is a lucrative market. Nigeria elections drawing to a close. Early results have started to arrive from Nigeria's election. This election is considered to be the tightest since 1999 when the military rule ended. Official results from the southern western Ekiti state indicate a clear victory for ruling party's candidate Bola Tinubu. The voting on Saturday was disrupted by long delays at polling stations as well as scattered reports of ballot box snatching and attacks by armed men especially in southern areas where Mr. Obi has strong backing. The election has seen an unprecedented challenge to the two-party system that has dominated Nigeria for 24 years. Peter Obi, from the previously little-known Labour Party, Mr. Tunubu from the ruling All Progressive Congress APC, and Atiku Abubakar of the main opposition People's Democratic Party PDP are all seen as potential winners from the 15-plus presidential candidates. A candidate needs to have the most votes and 25% of ballots cast in two-thirds of Nigeria's 36 states to be declared the winner. Further results will now be formally announced by the Electoral Commission which has been able to announce only the result of one state as of now, according to the BBC.